still you can't be fed up. No girls from the left and the right, uh. No girl ain't like the best thing is nice, yeah. What is up guys, Son of Beast here. We're back with another NBA Playoffs as the Lakers take on 3-1 lead over the Rockets. But this wasn't happening until the Rockets was being shown up by James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Robert Covington, and some of each players that definitely did have a chance to make a shooting a lot more precise. So by that moment, we're just going back to LA and game five, this will be three to one. And if the Lakers win, then they're taking on against Dallas Mavericks in a Western Conference Championship game. By that moment, let's see how well does Lakers or the Rockets do. So I'm playing as the Ro Lakers, at, hey guys, I'm Mike and Super it's back Robbie, and I am right now for the Lakers to be uh, to be I'm back at home, James. and I'm the Houston Rockets still away. By that moment, I don't have any truth about Here's saying Joe what Carter which one do I like. But there's a lot more. So there's a lot more time to find card. another way to look for here. Over packs. And so if you know well how many Hall of Fame badges does Michael Jordan go go card off, the then you might gotta check this one out. I don't have any clues. But that being said, I just can't remember what which on one does do I have to do. But anyway, we are going to Staples Center and find out who can win the game five. This starting five is amazing to check it out. We'll be right back after this. It's a little bit darker here, but that being said, I don't have any choices to find out which one do you really think will go for the win. But anyway, that anywho, this is going to be game five, and if the Lakers take the win, or if not, the Rockets are going up to game six. Now, let's check it on on David Aldridge on, in just a sec. Rojan Rondo with just 8.2 back in 2018 to 19. So close with uh, 8.2 within the assist game back in uh, back in this year and last year. But I'm not sure if it's going to be the same thing that everybody's looking at. Nice car to see James and Davis. Tip off is coming up, but first, let's start off with David Aldridge on the sideline. DA is all yours. Well, it took five long months, but Anthony Davis' trade request was finally granted. Now he has a new start in Los Angeles alongside LeBron James. And the Lakers now boast two top ten players. Kevin, this is a team with legitimate championship aspirations. And D.A., that's, and D. A., that's the story what everybody was thinking about Anthony Davis to bring out the a many game that brings you out from here. Thank you. Daniel House and LeBron James are the key matchups from the small forward, and then it is Harden against, you know, you should remember this one. Harden against uh, Green, that's correct. Here's it, Mike D'Antoni and Luke Vogel showing you what what happened here by after the last uh, last game in Game Four back in Houston. But in that game, this won't be happening until now. Houston wins the tip off and they start right now. Harden outside, covered by Green to the inside. Here's Covington. Covington shot, and it's past the Tucker. It's good. Terrific floor awareness. This by Covington. Here's James. James scanning the floor. Green outside. Bounce pass back to James. Right over house. James. James, no good. And here's Houston. Houston back in the other way. Here's Westbrook for three. It's rebounded by McGee. 6-15. Only 2-0. to zero. And they double up Davis. Trying to get out of the way. Green for a three. It's rebounded by Her by Davis. And Davis will take the first first shot of the night. Davis gets the job done inside in all Davis has got his first basket of the night. Right there. Crashing the offensive glass. Getting that second chance bucket. Second chance back and not even now able to hand it out, but it might be alright. Westbrook with three. 
and it's rebounded by James. Lakers have gone one and three for the field to start this one so far. James passed to Green. James, screen on Davis. He's off the shot. Can't hit the, can't hit the number of shots as it went for a miss. Here's a shot for Jordan. Harden finishes the drive. Harden sees a clear lane to the hoop. Just move out the way. He jumps on it. So relentless in how he exploits open space. Yeah, but James is not totally not afraid to uh, get, get whacked by James Harden. He's never afraid. Bradley, back to James. James, bounce passing it to McGee. Here's Over P.J. Tucker, it's rebounded by Davis, he'll give it another shot, oh, oh, that will keep Lakers ball alive here without any touch here for James or McGee, last touch here by P.J. Tucker, shots shooting guard with James Harden, tied up in second, was in second place 29.6 behind Bradley Beal. His, his uh, offensive move was not trying to get wide out. Three pointer for James, clutch the shot, assist by McGee. Harden outside. It's covered by Green. James Harden going hard on the court. Two pointers good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Bradley passed to James. Screen on Davis. Pass to Davis. He recovered the ball. Ball up and around, and there's a shot. That goes in. With Mike Four points for Anthony Davis. As a coach throughout the NBA. Any thoughts yeah. about Mike D'Antoni? Things uh, D'Antoni created, the up tempo of the offense, is a product of the seven seconds or less era. I mean, his imprint is all over the NBA. Now, of course, McCoy. he's all over that one there. Mike D'Antoni, the godfather, that was originally to be the coach, definitely did really well than I expected. Bounce pass to Green. Here's Shoots over three. Tucker, holds a shot from here, and that's his first two-pointer for Green. The bounce, is the bounce pass the is easy enough. He's making it really hard to keep it going. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Nine to six to score. Houston trailing by three. The floater. The floater is good, right over McGee. I really like how confident about Wessel Westbrook he's making out. If his shot, he's doing really well. 3.15 left. Oh, going in. Shots off the mark. Wessel Westbrook will take his first personal foul. Two free throws is coming up for LeBron James. Right to the rim. At least they saved the layup. He's saving the layup that time. And then the, when you call the MVP that you're looking for, there's your shot. Your opportunities is better than the last time. We can't take for granted what we've been able to witness. Shooting two will be James. James hits the first free throw. New changes and here for Houston and LA. LA. No Allison and Covington are checked out. Man, and it's Green it's and Eric Gordon are checked and in. Really maintaining his body and the Lakers are also making a switch. McGee, uh, Green, Bradley are out. Rondo, Cardwell, Pope, and Howard are checked in. A huge difference. Another difference here, but different look here. That one misses. Well, LeBron James went out too early. Every year, every Harden for three. It's followed up by Westbrook, and it's rebounded by Howard. Two points for Russell Westbrook. Only caught one rebound here. Howard rolling it over to James. Screen on Davis. James Pass. Nice stop here for Davis. Assist by James. These are the best dynamic duos that I, that I recently played with the Lakers. Davis and James. Westbrook looking for something open. Tucker for the three. And I shot from outside as an assist is up by Westbrook. Westbrook. Draining the triple. 
teams. The Bass Pass under look and no no luck here. Here's Gordon. Amazing deep, but recovered. Oh, what a stop here for James. Howard went back the other way. Rondo outside. Covered by Wessel Westbrook. Two minutes left here in the first quarter. Trying to get over Davis. No, he went up down. BJ Tucker went down already, but he saved and went back up. That uh, shot's good for uh, Russell Westbrook. Foul's going on. Cardwell Pope. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Stop the clock at a minute and 52 seconds. Well, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russell's career. Morris and, and Kuzma are checked in for LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Russell Westbrook is checked uh, to take one shot. And McElmore comes in for uh, Harden. And in end it is... Wait, there is Harden here. McElmore comes in for... Uh, I forgot what you're going to call it from here, but they might be hard. Chirp, it might be hard. Among the players around the lane. Rondo going back the other way. Kuzma going outside. Takes a shot. And there's a two-pointer for Kuzma. That's his first basket of the night. Uh, great, uh, great look on the opening scan floor. I think Kuzma's doing really. He's, he's working really hard. He's trying to. He, he wants to make sure he's all good enough to, uh, to get back on the uh, court. But that shooting skills should never happen before. They, they say that. Westbrook missing out. Rondo, two on one. Morris grabs it in, assisted by Rondo. Very great pass here for the two-on-one spot. And Morris went right in the paint and says, I got one. He said, Rondo, Rondo, I got... And he passed the ball right in the paint. And that's, um, I don't know if they call it Rondo, his last name, or Rojan, his first name. Covered by Morris. Here's uh, Carroll for the shot. Two pointers, good. Very good look here. Trying to keep it back in. Rondo pass to Cardwell Pope. Cardwell Pope to Morris. Right around. Carroll, and there's a layup for Morris. That's four points for Morris right around with a spin move and a, and a sliding into the rim. Right around Carroll. Definitely knows, knows where he goes. Westbrook going back the other way. There's a foul going on Morris. His first, that will be their second team foul for the Lakers. The expectations were always not the best one that we're yeah, looking for here. Me. I mean, we both looked up in the Raptors and we see both look it up, and we're not like championship banners up there. We're not I mean, like bam and it is. It's, it's really not hard to make it different. Get to and, it's, and it's really it's killing us. A lot of players trying to try to keep it more hydrated, and a lot of our focus here. They gotta do this. That's why I don't like how they play. Anyways, two shots. Will be on uh, Russell Westbrook. That free throw His first free throw, no good. And most fans think of the Caruso checked in for only, but for Rondo. Like the case and then uh, it's no, G, I mean, they and then it's Macklemore and Gordon subbing back in. They trap pretty well. I mean, the defense has been switching it up for them the past few years, if you ask me. Nothing mind blowing. One shot left for Westbrook. This team is certainly not one sided. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Rajon Rondo. He's good he makes second. a second free throw. 30 seconds left in the first 30 seconds left here. Here's Caruso. Here's Caruso, Caruso didn't want to Caruso make the uh, basket attack. Again. Kuzma inside. He's against Gordon. D.Y. Howard coming in. With the shot. Good. Right from the mark. The shot Howard knows he must make. Howard's got the first two poor bucket of the night. Gordon against Cardwell Pope. Three seconds with the shot. 
No good. That will be the end of the first quarter. 20 to 17 is your score. Lakers going out with a big time night. Not even noticing how the uh, Hollywood star brings up by LeBron James. We'll see what happens after this. I always feel like I got in the clutch, no matter what's going on throughout the course of a game. Uh, even when you're struggling at times and you're not shooting the ball particularly well, I just feel like it's going in. A lot of shots coming in for LeBron James. Everything, everything you need to know about it is to clutch every shot that you bring. If you are just a superstar player and works hard, or just a rookie or a pro, you don't know anything about it. Welcome you back to No Latino. Howard with the screen, right over green. Number two pointer miss for Kuzma. Los Angeles' performance here. What have they been doing? Up and over by Caruso. Cardwell Pope will take his first rebound. Well conceived game plan and have executed. But yeah, this is their preferred pace, and it's gotten them out to the Cardwell Pope to Caruso. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Cardwell Pope up, and the foul's going on Rivers. His first personal foul, and Cardwell Pope will go ahead and take, will shoot at two, will be shooting two at the free throw line. And guys, um, next season in NBA 2K, the uh, next NBA season will be NBA 2K21, and we're going to be finding out the next season. As I'm going to be going forward right now, the first uh, matchup will be the Lakers taking on against the Brooklyn Nets. And then, then secondly, then secondly, it will be the Boston Celtics back at home playing against the uh, playing against the other team. Um, you know, like um, I'm going to say like this, uh, playing against the uh, against Orlando Magic. I mean, it's like watching the team experiment. And then, uh, and then next event, it will be the Clippers taking on against OKC Thunders. And then we have San, San Antonio Spurs. Uh, the foul's going on Caruso, his first. Rivers will go to the line to shoot two. But like I just said before, the San Antonio Spurs will be playing up against the Pacers. A lot of new aggressive going on here. Luke Vogel trying to help him out. Need to get an eye on the on the man. Russo was was a little bit shot off. Shot off already. Not doing it really well. And um, San Antonio Spurs playing against the Pacers. And then the Sixers will play against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And things like that. Just a little more research. And then uh, the New York Knicks. And what a journey. Are, Knicks are playing years. against the uh, you know, uh, back in uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. Well, not Minnesota NBA Timberwolves, player, but actually, he here's another way. Uh, Detroit Pistons. Knicks game. against the Pistons. And the second free throw. And, um, and after and that, that He's never given up on himself. It will be, uh, and after that, it will be Portland Trail Blazers taking on against the uh, Golden State Warriors. Denver Nuggets playing against the uh, 76ers. And as he grows older, you, you can see him being a top player. Oh, no, not 76ers. Uh, what am I going to say about that? Oh, yeah. Out of bounds, Lakers ball. Oh, yeah. Um, as I just said before, Portland Trail Blazers against the Golden State Warriors. And then it will be it will be the Rockets playing against the Toronto Raptors back in Houston. Well, we, we, we might have to see what is going on. Kicks it out to Bradley. Then Miami Heat. Playing up against the Phoenix Suns, Austin Rivers will take his second personal foul, and A.B. Bradley will shoot the line for two, and then it will be uh, Heat versus the Phoenix Suns, and finally, it will be the Atlanta Hawks. Oh wait, um, I already did a rematch here. Take a break, take a break. Okay, so one, uh, one thing I'm confused here is, um, Phoenix Suns playing up against the Sacramento Kings, and then, and then the Heat 
playing against the Hawks. And he makes the first. He makes the first and one in. 6 3. Bradley is a plus defender thanks to his quickness. Well, but I'm going to see what's going on right now. So uh, I'll, I'll try to find out and see, uh, see if I have a lot of more time to make one of the suggestion games that will work for me. Okay? Oh, free throws. Oh, free throws. They were good. Actually, I'll do. I'll make something different here. As the OKC Funders are playing against the uh, the OKC Funders playing up against the the LA Clippers and the Lakers will play up against the Brooklyn Nets. Oh, here's David Aldridge on the sideline. Tampering is a touchy subject, but it's a word we're hearing more often. Teams want to retain their star players, but they know that there is always talk during a season. Now, teams can only express interest in a player when he hits free agency. But players can talk amongst each other freely all season. Star players like LeBron James are tied into their front offices. And some people wonder if there's much of a difference between what the player says and what his team is thinking. Kevin? Good point, David. Thank you. Great point and here. Finally, As Eric Gordon finally has that shot here, he's doing all right. He, but he didn't seem to care about it when he was going through. Avery Bradley with the ran in the motion. Give him a chance to attack the he, He's got a lot of things to say and what everybody's looking up to. Second quarter of action. All right, so. We're under two and a half minutes played so far. Bradley, really? Okay, so I have a different uh, setup that I'm going to be doing. Rivers kicks to um, the Golden State Warriors against the uh, Portland Trail Blazers, and then it will be the Sh Charlotte Hornets against the uh, against Milwaukee Bucks. Then Dallas Mavericks facing up against the uh, against the Phoenix Suns, and the New York Knicks playing up against the Pistons. The the Orlando Magic's playing against the uh, Boston Celtics. Playing at Boston Celtics. Houston Rockets playing playing at Toronto Raptors. At uh, Toronto against the Raptors. Morris has the second personal foul. Then it will be San Antonio Spurs playing up against the Indiana Pacers. New Orleans Pelicans playing up against the uh, against the Atlanta Hawks. Then Cleveland Cavaliers at Philly playing against the Sixers. Then it will be it will be the Timberwolves back at home playing against the uh, basketball and uh, you know we're talking about coach of the year playing against the Memphis Grizzlies. Did you prefer to play for? Well, I just wanted a coach that was honest. Then, uh, then um, we have is and then Chicago Bulls. I, I will say, you know what? Chicago Bulls playing against the uh, Timberwolves. Doesn't hold anyone back based upon their offense. And then Memphis Grizzlies back at home playing against the. Uh, oh no! Tucker got it away. Oh Davis! What a block shot this is! Great, uh, great defense. But it's still Houston ball. Anyways, uh, Lakers against the uh, against the Nets, and then it is. What am I gonna say? Oh, uh, from the inbound. Here's oh, what a putback! Oh, McKee with the block. Lay it up wide, but didn't want to take it. And a Davis with the block. Great eye on the key here. Rondo back in the other way. Harden passes to McGee. McGee passing it to James. The shot. Good. Assist by McGee. He's, he's got the lead up for seven. Into the paint. That is. So for the next upcoming game here at NBA 2K21, I will do. The Sixers versus the. All right. So the timeout's called by Houston Rockets. Three thirteen left. 28 to 21, LeBron James making history here. Doing really well. So my next upcoming game here for the NBA 2K21 is the Lakers versus against the Nets. Then it is the Knicks playing playing back home against the Pistons. Then the Phoenix Suns playing up against the Sacramento Kings. Then San Antonio Spurs playing up against 
the Indiana Pacers, then it will be Minnesota Timberwolves playing up against Chicago Bulls back at home for Minnesota. And then Memphis Grizzlies playing up against the Oh, oh shoot, I forgot what it is. Against the uh, Pelicans. And then, um, and then after that, it will be Boston playing up against the Orlando Magic. Atlanta Hawks playing against the Heat. And finally... And a chance to check out the numbers. Oh, and finally... Right around 25 points per... Milwaukee Bucks playing up. Man, he does so much for this team, yeah. but it starts then, um, with the way And then Milwaukee the Bucks will yeah. play against the yeah, uh, against Denver. Loaded, and he's more than capable of delivering. And finally, it will now, be the Houston Rockets to... playing up he's against the, the Toronto top Raptors. McGee with the block. So that's my uh, schedule here for the NBA 2K21. If, if any, uh, any guys, any of you guys that you would like to make some suggestions, leave a comment down below. McGee with the shot, making a really good and impressive shot. Oh, and yes, finally, uh, Portland Trail Blazers against the Golden State Warriors. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. The Rockets trail by nine. Hornets against the Bucks. I should have said that before. With it. Harden with the ball. Tucker with the layup. It's good. Last night after the uh, after the loss against LA, LA Lakers, Harden with just 37. But he lost the game in game four. And two free throws is coming up for Rondo as, as Covington grabs his. First, first all, Boston to a title back in 2000. Oh, and yes, the Utah Jazz playing up against, playing up against the Washington Wizards. That's all I've got to do. But, but most of that case, uh, everything's going really well. We'll see what happens to be an NBA coach. A lot of scenes that time I will be playing as a head coach here. Rondo takes the first free throw. A different look here for Houston Rockets. Green and Russell Westbrook are checked in. As Covington and Rivers are checked out. And the Lakers are making the switch as Green subbed out and Marvel Pope is checked in. Pope's checked in. The Rockets also changing it up. Green comes in for Robert Covington. Rondo hits two free throws. His first guy is two point and the Rockets two pointer on the board. Return to the NBA final. Westbrook against Rondo. Fast styles over to Tucker. I mean front office, they're doing big. Oh, McGee in two blocks in a row. Great deep that time without calling a foul. Here's McGee. McGee after the he makes a block. Here's Davis. Davis rolling it over to uh, Rondo. Two minutes remaining. Elbow from here. No good on the uh, on the assist. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a, a loss of concentration. Harden just a wide shot. It's rebounded by McGee. Thanks for the help by LeBron James. James rolling it over to Cardwell Pope. Carl Pope feeling it out of it. Carl Pope needs to find somebody who can get there. And there's the big pass to James. Five to save. Five to shoot. Overhouse, no good. James. James blowing up the shot. Good. It's right in here. Eight points for James. Pretty much all of their buckets. Pretty much uh, all the buckets are pulling up from here. What a nice shot this is for LeBron James. And doing really well to keep it from running. And here's Westbrook. Here's Westbrook against Rondo. Looking all right. Uh, Russell Westbrook went out of the way. Didn't seem like he was never going to get there. McGee, I have no, I, I was not ever. McGee, just don't say anything in front of me. 55 seconds. Bounce pass to Davis. Rolling over to Rondo. Right side, Rondo. James outside. James outside. Coming in. Plays off. 
Green going to take going to take his first personal foul. Growing up, Chris, LeBron James always looked up to Michael Jordan. Two free throws are coming up for LeBron James. So once I will say this again, uh, the Wizards playing playing against the Jazz um, back at home in Washington. Then the Knicks playing against the Detroit Pistons back at back in New York. Then. OKC Funders at LA playing against the Clippers. And the Lakers are away playing against the Brooklyn Nets. Then Miami Heat First one calls back at home playing against the Atlanta Hawks. McGee is subbed out and Dwight Howard is checked in. And then the Chicago Bulls are playing at Minnesota against the Timberwolves. Then Denver Nuggets are going to play up against against the uh, other team, the uh, the Pelicans. I, I will call that one here. Then San, T San Antonio Spurs playing up against the Indiana Pacers. Uh, back at home as the Pacers are away. Then Boston Celtics playing against the uh, Magic back at back at home. Then the Rockets playing against at Toronto. Then, uh, then after that, it's Davis on the wing. You trying to keep that ball out away from me? Then, uh, then it will be the Hornets playing up against the playing at Milwaukee. Jeff Green picks one up. Playing at Milwaukee. The Lakers have gone nine and ten from the line, so against Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. Not really where you would like to be. Then Cleveland. Free throw then, the Cap then the Cavaliers are away, playing against at two. Are away at Philly, playing against the Sixers. And then finally, it will. It is uh the next thing is. Oh, hold on. The next one is. And that one falls for the Sacramento Kings playing at Phoenix. Against the Suns, House is checked out. Gordon's checked in, and Lakers are making some changes. Rondo's checked out. Caruso is checked in, and then um, the Van Portland Trail Blazers playing up against the uh, against the Golden State Warriors. Um, at, as Portland Trail Blazers are away in San Francisco, then Memphis Grizzlies playing back home. Against the, uh, I forgot, what, I forgot what I should say, but uh, but anyway, there, there are no choice about it. The last shot, no good. Um, I will send you guys the list here. So uh, if you guys would like to hear, if you guys have some uh, have any suggestions, just leave a comment down below for next uh, next season of NBA 2K21. Let's go to David Aldridge on the sideline. Thanks a lot. LeBron, are you getting the ball where you want to get it, and is that helping you score? Uh, I'm very pleased with my individual performance right now, but um, you know, not so pleased with you know, how I'm trying to you know, help our teammates. You know, I'm, i got to do a better job of trying to get our teammates in the flow as well as keep myself in a good group too. So um, hopefully I'll do a better job of that in the second half. We'll see how it goes. Thanks, LeBron. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, you. Thanks David. I will show you the rest of the schedule and uh, after the halftime show. We're ready to start the second half, so uh, I'm going to say this one again. So uh, for my next schedule here for the NBA 2K21, I will be doing Lakers at Brooklyn playing against the Nets. And then the Knicks at home playing against the Detroit Pistons. Then San Antonio Spurs back at home playing against the Indiana Pacers. Then, uh, then Boston Celtics back at home playing against... The Orlando Magics, then Charlotte, Charlotte Hornets away at Milwaukee playing against the Bucks. Rockets at Toronto playing against the Raptors. What a shot here for Green, and he made another one. Then, uh, and then after that, it will be the Pelicans facing up against the, uh, the Grizzlies. And Phoenix Suns against the Sacramento Kings. The shot's good from Westbrook. I mean, it's a great move. Um, as the Kings are at Phoenix, playing against the Suns. Then it will be the uh, then it will be the Jazz at Washington D.C. playing against the Wizards. 
James finds Green. And the Clippers against the OKC Funders. James Harden has his first personal foul. Yeah, he's shocked already. He says, "What? Are you kidding me? That was that was my uh, better that was my uh, a chance. That was my better chance uh, defender." And then continuing on, uh, the Chicago Bulls at Minnesota playing against the Timberwolves. Then it is the uh, then it is Portland Trail Blazers at San Francisco playing against the Golden State Warriors. That's the newest location from uh, from for the Warriors from Oakland to San Francisco, part of the Golden Gate Bridge. And then it's uh, then after that Miami Heat playing against the uh, against the Atlanta Hawks as the Hawks are away at Miami. And finally, I got to give my man Big Lopez a shout out. And finally. Out there the it will be so much fun. The Denver Nuggets playing up against the uh, I forgot what, what else. What a shot here for Harden. Oh, very effective. Love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense. Here's James coming around. Pass to Bradley. Bradley pass to McGee. McGee rolling it over to uh, Green. On the wing, Green. Here's the drive. It's off the mark, and no rebound here since it went for another miss. So it's Harden bringing it up, Harden bringing up the Evercourt. They trail by 11. They're going back the other way. And had a chance here for Davis to grab the rebound. 525 left. I'll, uh, I'll make sure. Uh, and then finally, it will be the, um, you know what I'm saying. The uh, outside green. It will be Dallas Mavericks playing up against the, uh, what a shot here for Green, and that goes in. And finally, uh, Dallas Mavericks playing up against the Denver Nuggets. As Mavericks are at, are at Denver. It's off the backboard here as McGee grabs the rebound. So that is your order of the schedule for my next season of, of the NBA 2K21. Any suggestions, just uh, leave a comment down below. Anyway, back to the game. Davis with a drive. It's good. Right over Covington. That's 10 points in the game. He's, he's steady right now. When, when he's going to look for an open look pass, and he... He was never gonna say, mm, look, I think I have more I have more room to follow to follow in. What a great spin move. For sure. And Russell Westbrook taking a back from here. Timeout call by the Lakers. Four sixteen left, forty-six to thirty-three. Westbrook needs to find something big and better. They're gonna have to keep it going and through all of it. And the Lakers are making some new changes here as Morris has checked in for Anthony Davis for LeBron. Bradley coming in for uh, Bradley coming in here for uh, for Green. James uh, out as Kuzma has checked in and Davis switched to the center. Fouls going on. Rivers his third personal foul. Four oh three remaining. Oh, just in Rivers is causing a foul too many by that moment. Two shots coming up. Two shots is up for Bradley. His first trip to the free throw line. You don't have to try it out. What, do you, what does Bradley have to do? First shot for Bradley is good. Here's the last shot here, but I'm not sure if there are any new players or any players that are going to be traded for, for next season. There might be happening now, you don't know anything. I'm hoping Joel Embiid can stay for another season with the Lake, with the, I'm sorry, the, the Sixers. I'm thinking there might be a lot more, I think they're going to be keeping it up to go again. What do you, you guys think? Can Joel Embiid come back with the uh, Sixers? I think so. Leave it up. Leave. 
Also, leave down a comment down. Leave a comment down below. Anthony Davis, he really loves to help out with the Lakers, even if they have some problems here. And if LeBron James has a lot more discussion, then uh, then he'll be uh, then he might be the only person that wants to know about Anthony Davis with Mark, uh, the dynamic duo. What a what a nice shot here for Macklemore, assisted by Harden. 3:18 left. Bradley going over to Davis. Sometimes you just gotta go with your gut. Now here's Davis. Davis covered up by Carroll. Three for Bradley. Slight shot missed, but it went off target here. Rockets trailing by 13. They're all calling defense. Shot for Arden. They grab it back. And it looks like Carroll has sent it back right away. I don't think there might not be any choice what we have to go for on. We might have to switch it from offense because this is not looking too good. Bradley, with the Bradley passed to Kuzma. For him. Right up and over for Davis. And here is Davis is a dunk, and it goes. What a dunk here movement for, for, a, for an amazing person that was ever believed here. Davis to finish it off. 2.15 left. Here's Rivers against Bradley. Following, following up by Covington. Covington passes to Rivers. And dunk. With the dunk. Sometimes the offensive work players don't uh, they don't work because they need to fix something and go with another look. 205 left. Anthony Davis trying to put something uh put something together. We'll need to we'll need to find out which offensive offensive aggression will work. Switch some offensive here on his strategy for the Lakers. And now here's some changes here for the Rockets and the Lakers. Harden, McCovington, and Carroll checked out. Carroll moves into the point forward after Green and Gordon are checked in. Kuzma, Bradley, Boris, and Davis are checked out. Kuzma moves into the point forward position. And it's the White Howard, Alex Caruso, and Rondo. Again, the Rockets are pulling up another big victim here. 140 left to go. Kuzma passed to Kuzma outside. Kuzma against Carroll. Shots going up. His jump shot is missed, but is saved by Caruso. Card Cardwell Pope outside. Caruso for three. Drills up from outside. First three pointer for Caruso. In the vision I'm, I'm, I'm loving what Caruso is up here. Welcome to the Caruso, Alex Caruso. Three points. 108 to go. Rivers coming in. The drive went loose, and it's rebounded by Rondo. Also, Rivers only have five points after that. Under one minute to go. Rondo passing and rolling it over to Caruso. Pass pass back to Cardwell Pope. A two pointer. Oh, balls it up in, and Cardwell Pope finishes off with another great stop at the moment. Forty-three seconds left in the third quarter. Forty seconds in the third quarter. Fifty-five to forty-one. Passes to Macklemore. Pass to Gordon. Caruso still on the cover. Tries it from, Tries it from deep. deep. And, it's and it's in there. And the Number two pointer for Caruso. I mean, Gordon. Makes that an easy shot. But Caruso so needs to find himself to, uh, to make a heavy contest shot. You got to do it. He has to do it right away. 13 seconds left. Caruso finding a looking open man. Rondo around uh, Rivers. Cardwell Pope with a two. Two's good for Cardwell Pope. Assist by Rondo. Part of a half court. No good. That is the end of the third quarter. 57 to 43 is your score. The Lakers are pulling it in to come to the Western Conference Championship game against the Mavericks.
We want to see it. We'll see how it's done after after this. Fourth quarter is next. Of the game. Let's take a quick you know, closer you know, look here at State Farm assist of the game. Pretty assist over With the a pretty assist game. here was Rondo. And then it was Morris that was putting, putting a, a first shot of the single, single time of his uh, shooting ability. But for, but for Rondo, Morris has got into a very nice, a very nice slope. And, and Rondo says, Morris is definitely the only person I can remember. But if, but if Morris does it really well, then they're doing, then they're doing a terrific job here to play on offense. Cardwell Pope has a second personal foul. Alright, stop the, stop the play, stop playing the soundtrack. Eric Gordon is shooting two. Cardwell Pope with a second personal foul. Luke Vogel needs to, needs to uh, keep an eye on the player, not to get swapped at and make it off balance off the target or else they can go hit on the floor and the managers are going to have to like clean up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Two shots for Gordon. First free throw is good. First good. good. When he's healthy, Gordon is extremely effective. Gordon is extremely game and effective stuff. here on his effort list that he was proud to be playing the game. With this goal, he knows how he can do it. The second free throw is good. Rockets are trailing up by... Rockets trail, trailing by 12 as the Lakers trail by lead by 12. Carbo Pope going outside. Carbo Pope to Rondo. With the, with the drive. And we reach the loose ball foul on D.Y. Howard. It's first. Green is checked in for the Lakers. As Carbo Pope is checked out. Danny Green checking back in. Rockets trail by 12. Oh, oh, Russell Westbrook, and you know Westbrook an open eye look on the rim because nobody was in the paint. Russell Westbrook just found a clue and made an answer. Outside, Green outside, 6.15 left. Pass is to Rondo. Rondo over P.J. Tucker, but it's denied. This is Tucker's calling card. He will pester you, aggravate you, get up in your jersey, make you think twice about trying to shoot off. Another rebound for Green and taking a, took an eye off the look by James. James. Outside, Green. Outside is Green. Pass to James for the triple. Wide off a wide open look, no good. McLemore up by up by Westbrook, and it's denied by Rondo. Now the Lakers on the break. Here's Rondo. Rondo with a nice layup, assist by James. That's three assists in the game for uh, for LeBron James. Rondo's got four points. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two great points. fourth quarter moments here for the Lakers, but the Rockets are like having that hard time to keep it going from here. Oh, James! Wow, never saw that coming. Oh, Kuzma! He slams it in, and he's backing in, backing up, moving forward. Here's Westbrook. Kuzma has. Four points, and now the timeout called by the Rockets. Houston, 4.52 left. LeBron James showing no sign at all. While you're looking forward with the shot and, it, and with everything that you need to know about, uh, about uh, LeBron James, he was definitely doing really good here and working really hard at that time. When his shot was way off here, you just can't say that Damn, LeBron James is a huge beast. He works hard and he gets there and he gets there right in time.
you should remember what uh, what LeBron James has been uh, working out. If he if he uh, if he uh, runs, jogs, uh, doing any exercise at the moment, and he does a lot of weightlifting stuff. Jeez, I know everything about him. Doing really well to keep it going from here. Anyways, I'm switching it up to the game plan, going for two to three zone. Davis is checked in for Kuzma. And McGee is checked in for Howard. And it's Avery Bradley. And House is out. Covington is on the court with James Harden. After McLemore stepped out. Let's go down to the sideline. As David Aldridge stands by. Let Dan Tony talk to his team. He was disappointed in the shot selection. He told them, stay patient, run the offense, make the extra pass. You don't have to make up the deficit all at once. See if they start shooting a little better. Kevin? Another shot missed for James after the, after the follow-up by James Harden with the three. The green pass back to James. Pocket four. Pocket four. Back pass. Bradley for three. Here's Bradley from three. McGee who saves it. And McGee with the rebound and puts it back. Just a solid performance. It's just a solid performance from McGee, as I mentioned. Four points. How well does he do? And again, Gordon hits the three-point range on each side on outside the range of the three-point line. Bradley going back out again. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Bradley passed to McGee. McGee to Bradley. Over Westbrook. Over Westbrook. And they're bringing it back from here. Bradley has eight points, right behind Westbrook with 14 points. Bradley's uh, point trailing up by six points. Gordon misses the three. 310 left. McGee comes up, comes up with uh, with just 10 rebounds, an incredible rebounding platform to keep it from going. James coming in. Whoa, James! What a what a monster's dunk. He's like he's like on fire. He's fried up. Not even telling, not even telling you, he's making the stir fry. I love that one here. For the free amigos, in the kitchen we're still like a stir fry. In the kitchen we're stuck like a stir fry. Okay, I'll stop singing because of a copyrighted claim version. McGee the green. James outside. James bounce pass to Davis. Davis kicks to McGee. McGee with the shot. McGee slams it off. Harden going back the other way with the shot. Reversed it up. Another bucket here for uh, James Harden. And he's got 11 points. Lead it up by Danny Green's Green Green's eight points. Now here's LeBron. Danny Green's uh, point is trailing up by three. Danny Green against Harden. Green, no good. Can't make the number shot. Make it look easier. James going out a hard run. Nine points, Nine points for uh, for James Harden. Timeout on the Lakers, 67 to 57. They are trailing by 10. Not at that moment. It will be. Uh, it, is, it is definitely a worst time that was ever happened to be played here on the court. So anyways, I'm bringing Quinn Coke here. Ben Sabada, Danny Green. I will change it to, uh, to, to Caruso. And then uh, make another uh, open look here. As I'm going to say, Flo. Patient offense uh, series. Let's go with uh, 21 delay series. And then the limits. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. Before we, uh, before we get back on to resume the game, here is your Jordan player of the game. This one goes out to JaVale McGee. 
An incredible rebounding platform as Big Allen has four points for tonight. But 10 rebounds was the only way of keying to his successful rebound that was back and up on the roll. I love how JaVale McGee's uh, rebound comes in by a bunch of times. McGee went missing, but he didn't add another point in. Only 10 rebounds was definitely made. They could have hoped for it. They could have hoped for it. I have a better one. Oh, Quinn Cook got it. Cook. Screen on Davis. For a shot. Great D by by Covington. 110 left. Harden no good. A solid D on Caruso. The Lakers are pulling up so much wild here. Under one minute left. Free throws were a big factor in this one. Davis back to McGee. Get a lot of shots at the line, but Shoots over Covington. His first shot didn't go in. So it looks like Quinn Cook was just sit, sitting here a long time, but he doesn't want to like keep it going from here. Oh, no foul called on Davis. Here's his first shot. That's good. So yes, he finally got his first basket in in the fourth quarter. Uh, since last free quarter, he wasn't on the court anyway. He wasn't played on here anymore. James, get up here. 10 seconds left. And that is the end. Lakers wins the series 4 to 1, 69 to 57 as they are heading to take on against Dallas Mavericks in the Western Conference Championship game. It's been a completely very nice uh, day for the Lakers to came out with the win and with all games never be frightened. And that's why we're definitely starting to feel out. It, uh, it was a whirling night. Now I'll send, uh, send you over to David Aldridge on the sideline. David. Thank you, Kevin. Hey, D, it looked like you guys were having some fun out there. Is there a new dynamic coming up offensively? Uh, no, we just don't care who scored the ball. You know, the ball movement was great. Everybody was rebounding and talking. So when you play like that, it's fun to watch. You know, and everybody out there having fun, smiling, um, a lot of emotion. That's all we ask. That's all Coach asked for, and we get that tonight. Good win tonight, A.D. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, D.A. As the last game comes up here for Toronto and, and the Bucks, we'll have to find out who will win in the Eastern Conference setup before before the Bucks, before the winning of Bucks or Toronto Raptors win in the uh, in the second round before they head to the Eastern Conference Championship game. By that moment, it will never happen if it's going to be a, a huge uh, night. So right now, the Bucks and the Raptors are on its way next. So, thank you guys for tuning in. And for Game 6, it will be the Sixers at Miami playing against the Heat. By that moment, there are no questions at all. So, until next time, peace out, bitches. For as a while as a NBA playoff dial. Good night in L.A.